whether it is because of overpopulation, a lack of resources, or climate change, people will need to find a new home in the future. But what do we do when we outgrow our home? The answer lies within our very own solar system. The best candidate for humanity's new home is by far Mars. Despite how inhospitable it may be today, Mars could hold the key for man's future through the process of terraforming. Terraforming is the process of transforming an uninhabitable planet into a place where humanity could survive. This could be achieved on Mars by melting the ice caps by releasing greenhouse gases in order to warm and thicken the atmosphere. This could lead to the creation of a hydrosphere and result in rain. The next step would be to oxygenate the atmosphere using photosynthetic organisms. Is this theoretical process possible? Could Mars be terraformed using photosynthetic organisms? In order to see if a plant could survive the harsh conditions on Mars, we placed a plant in a vacuum sealed container where we replicated the atmospheric pressure, composition, and temperature found on Mars. The independent variables are the replicate conditions on Mars, including the atmospheric pressure, atmospheric composition, and temperature, while the dependent variable is the composition of the atmosphere at the end of the trials. The end result of the experiment was that there was approximately 2.1% oxygen produced after subtracting the ambient oxygen that got into the container. 2.1% may just be enough to create an ozone layer. There was also bacteria inside the container as evidenced by a foul stench. There was also a slight decrease in carbon dioxide, leaving only 97.9% .9 carbon dioxide. Without the bacteria, there would have been more oxygen and less carbon dioxide. Although many of terraforming's benefits won't come until the future, we will still benefit from learning more about the nature of Mars, climate change, and space travel.